Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for the hang up, the mishaps tonight. A little bit of technical difficulties I had going on on my part. Apologize. We joined tonight's Go Fast Racing Open A Series here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the Boyd's Gaming 150. Not quite sure what happened with qualifying and things of that nature. Was was out of the loop. Peter was giving me some fits. Hopefully got all those issues and all those mishaps taken care of. Everything worked out. Right now we're riding along with the 304 of James Torrey, your leader. Still have some, uh, some other things I'm trying to put together here. There we go. All right, here we go. Right behind them, second and third place, you have the 61 of Jeff Smith and the followed in third place by the 80 of Brian Littleton. Not quite sure what the stint here is. Looks like it's about 30 laps or so. Looks like it's been green from the drop of the green flag. Uh, doesn't look like we've had any cautions so far. Could be wrong on that just because I'm joining a little bit behind schedule due to my issues and difficulties. Should be some good racing here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I know personally I've ran the NIS this week and the and, uh, car's been great. As far as, uh, as far as I can tell and put up with, it tends to get a little bit loose on exit. Uh, but most of these drivers, looks like pit stops are underway as we have uh, uh, two or three cars on pit road as we speak right now. We're going to jump back through the field just a little bit further and ride with the 80 of Brian Littleton for just, just a few laps. Right here in fourth place. Six car Brian Mascale Jr. Looks like he may have a little bit of front end damage. May have gotten with somebody a little bit earlier in this race before I had a chance to get in here. We're going to fall back to fifth place to 300 of Roy Hyde. Running good inside the top five right now. Back in sixth place, we have John Stathagos. John, your, your early winner this year at Daytona was able to bring it to the stripe. Last week was gone, out of town, didn't have a chance to join the boys, although I do know that two car, Michael Trevathan, did bring it home and get it into the winner's circle. We're gonna jump back with seventh place, Skyler Allen. And eighth place in the 29 machine, we have Trevor, Trevor Harmon. Ninth place, the 347 of Damon Cox. Damon riding that special paint scheme tribute and salute to Autism Awareness Month. And in 10th place, the 43 machine of John Morris. Followed closely by the 319 of Rick Reiner, who's in 11th right now. Looking back through the field, not seeing too many battles. Looks like the 29 and the 347 may. 29 is actually on pit road. Was getting close there with the battle. We're going to ride with him for a second. Watch his pit stop here. As I'm looking for some action out here on track. Looks like there was about 20 cars here tonight. 17 still out there on track as we speak. Looks like there must have been something really, really bad. Really, really early. As a couple of these cars are about 42 laps down or so. So something must have happened around lap 2 or 3. We're going to go ahead... And uh, join the battle up here. Third and fourth place. Caution is out. Looking for caution right now. Looks like... No, Skyler wasn't involved. Maybe the 15 of Adam Chapman. Not seeing it right here. So we're going to have to just ride. Uh, as of right now. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for being late. Skyler, all you guys that go fast, all your fans, family, friends that join in to watch these races, man, I, I deeply apologize from the bottom of my heart. I was running late this evening, worked late, ended up home a little late, got behind schedule, and computer was giving me fits and issues, and my apologies. Uh, I, I just can't say that enough, man. I'm, I'm, I'm truly, truly sorry. Looks like some of our cars have managed to get on pit road already, or are on pit road. Our our leaders 
did, were not able to get on the pit road. The 304 and the 80 of Brian Littleton not able to get on the pit road. So I'm probably going to say that the 61 of Jeff, Jeff Smith, he's going to end up inheriting the uh, race lead just due to how the caution fell, where they picked up the pace car when they opened pit road. Looks like some of those guys that were a little further in the back were able to take advantage of that and get on the pit road the first time it opened up. The leaders were just past pit road, so they were they, they were going to have to go all the way back around here. That, that could end up bad for those leaders, put them back in the back of the pack. Uh, dirty air may uh, come into play. now just now hitting pit road we're gonna go ahead and catch them coming on down the other side here As you see a lot of cars out there that are getting laps back coming around to try to steal a position or two time there as you see the two of Michael Trevathan getting down off the jacks and on the pit road. It looks like the 304 may have given up a little bit of time as well coming off the pit road as we jump back on board with your new leader of the race, the 61 of Jeff Smith. One of those drivers that was able to uh, utilize how the caution fell, get on pit road a little bit earlier than maybe was Of, uh, kosher, I guess would be the word to say. Taking advantage of it, getting down there, getting them four fresh tires, coming back out, taking the lead. Your top five for the Boyd Gaming 150 here for Go Fast Racing, brought to you by Next Gen Racing Productions. First place, it's still listing. We're going to let this cycle through for just a second here because I'm sure this is going to change up the line. Oh, there you see it up on board there all changing over looks like the 61 of Jeff Smith in first place in second place the 300 of Roy Hyde in third the 08 of John Stathagos in fourth place the 347 of Damon Coxon in fifth that 43 machine the John Morris all those drivers able to get on the pit road get back off out in front of the leaders Grab a couple spots here. Some might say a little cheaply, but I say, you know, it's racing, you do what you gotta, and you take advantage of every little situation you can. Uh, operate in the gray areas, if you, if you will. As we're working lap 47 here of 134, Las Vegas Motor Speedway, for what's the third race now. In the first year of the Open Cup Series here for Go Fast Racing on iRacing.com. Skyler Allen and all the boys over here at Go Fast Racing, man, they put put on a hell of a, hell of a league, hell of a show. Uh, looks like the pace car lights are off. We're going to get ready to go green flag racing once again here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Pace car is off. It's in the hands of the 61. He fires off the 30, and the 300, sorry. It's a decent restart out there on the outside. Looks like he'll be able to clear the 08 of John Stathagos to slot himself into second. We're going to work our way back through the field here and watch just a little bit further back. As you see them cars working their way out of turn two, We're riding along with John Stathagos to 08 in third place right now. We're going to jump on board back here with the 347 of Damon Cox. Take a ride with him for just a second here as he's bearing down on that 08 looking to the inside just slightly you hear him playing with the throttle just a little bit these things can get a little bit light through the tri oval making a look to the inside there is damon cox on the 08 of john staffagos looks like they're side by side they're side by side just behind them as well looks like the 304 
from the six of Brian Muskell Jr. side by side racing back there with the 319 of Rick Reiner and 80 of Brian Littleton. This right here, your battle for third place, John Staphagos in the 08. Being able to maintain and hold off the push, the hard charge from the 347 of Damon Cox. Damon utilizing that middle to low line as it looks like Roy Hyden at 300 starting to close the gap just a little bit on our leader. Lap after lap, just kind of closing in a little. Damon Cox working the inside, trying to get them going off on the 08. The 08 is just not having any of it right now. Good battles all over. Caution is out. Looks like looks like last week's winner, Michael Trey Vathan, involved in the incident this time around. Going to take a look. Going to have to back it up just just a little bit more than that. There you go. You see the 96 of Skyler Allen move to the inside of the two. Up the track just a little bit. Maybe a bit some net code there because it didn't look that bad. Oh, 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 oh. And the 81 of Derek Pemberton just losing control. Back up into the 02 of Michael Trey Bateman last week's winner at Atlanta Motor Speedway. His night's probably going to be over. The 81 of Derek Pemberton, his night is probably going to be cut short as well. As we're going to jump back on board here with your leader. Still the 61 of Jeff Smith, followed by the 300 of Roy Hyde. Looks like most of your top five are all running that bow tie up there. Them Chevys. I'm not quite sure who's running what whether we got some chevy ss's out there or if everybody's in the camaro but i tell you what we'll we'll take us a little look see here well wrong camera there you go sometimes i forget what i name these things we're gonna run through your field here while we have a chance first place jeff smith in the 61 and in second you have the 300 of roy Hyde. third place the 08 of john stathagos and in fourth place the 347 Damon Cox, check that out. That 946 design brought to you by one of our sponsors up there. Heck of a paint job, boys. That thing looks smooth. In fifth place, the 43 of John Morris. That famous petty scheme right there. That, that thing looks sweet, too. Looks like he's running the Camaro. Got to go all the way back here to sixth place to find your first non-Chevy, and that's that, that blue oval at 304 of earlier race leader James Torrey in the 304 back here in the 319 and that Superman paint scheme Rick Reiner there you have it Brian Littleton in the 80 part of the next gen racing crew in ninth place Brian Muskell Jr. running another Superman paint scheme as you see right there on that under that front left headlight right there. Another member of that next gen racing crew. They're kind of deep out here. Nine of Travis Smith, newcomer to the league. Great racer. Great guy. A little bit of damage on that Camaro's front end. We're going to jump back in the 11th place with the 29 of Trevor Harmon. That's your first Toyota in the field. We're going to go back here to that Camaro, that 96 of Skylar Allen, as he's working his way off of pit road to rejoin the pack. The 346 of Justin Walters. I'm pretty sure Justin's got a pretty sweet paint scheme on it. We're just not seeing it right now. And then there you have it, the two of Michael Trevath and just heavy, heavy damage. Not sure he's going to get that thing back there on track. And there you see the 19 of Dylan Voss in the 15th position right now as he's leaving pit road. We're going to jump back on board with your leaders up here. We're getting ready to go back to green flag racing. One more lap around under the pace. Lights under the caution lights flashing here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway for Go Fast Racing's Boyd Gaming 150. Brought to you on Twitch and YouTube by Next Gen Racing Productions. These high-powered 
machines working their way through turn one. Getting ready to go back green flag racing. Lap 54 of 134. Going to be interesting to see if Jeff Smith can fire off the same way that he fired off that last restart. Get the jump on Roy Hyde. Roy's got to be wondering if he can uh, get as good of a jump as well and get in front of that 08. As the 347 had his hands full trying to get by that 08. Was able to get to him a couple times, just not able to ever really pass him. You see... Pace car lights are off. It's going to make that hard left-hand turn once again. This driver's going to get their elbows up going back into turn one here. Coming to lap 55 here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. It's in the hands of your leader, the 61. Fires off the 08. Fires right behind him. Pulls even with the 300 of Roy Hyde on the outside for second place. Jeff Smith, your leader, off to a four-car lead now as they enter turn one. Side-by-side -side battle back second third place with Roy Hyde and John Stathagos working their way through turns to Roy Hyde able to get the momentum to drive off the corner and take that position away pulls away from the 08 now battles back here for fourth all the way back through eighth place almost under a blink leading that small pack is the 43 of John Morris followed by the 347 Damon Cox Rick Reiner back there in the 319 side by side with the third 304. Sorry, I about said the 34. <laughs> the 304. It's almost a three wide battle now going into turn three. 80 of Brian Littleton to the inside of Rick Reiner making the pass on the 304 and the 319. Close quarters racing off. Brian Littleton gets it at the line to slot himself in sixth place. The 319 still battling out with the 304 of James Torrey, followed by the six of Brian Miskell Jr. Right behind them, that nine machine lurking in tenth place. The 29 of Trevor Harmon, the 96 of Skyler Allen, all right there on top of each other. Nothing happening really up there with your leaders as the 61 of Jeff Smith able to open up about a four tenths of a second lead over to the second place 300 of Roy Hyde same distance back to the 08 of John Stathagos for third place same distance back from him to fourth place the 43 of John Morris front four stacked out pretty decently looks like the battle's really back here from sixth to about ninth place here so we're going to stick it out, watch this little race here as Travis Smith looks to the inside of the 319 of Rick Reiner. Across the line, Rick Reiner still holding that ninth position away. Travis Smith looking for inside the top 10, not just top 10, but up in there. It's always better to say where did you finish ninth instead of just top 10. Hard close battle as they re-enter turns three, working their way through the center. Looks like most of the field starting to settle it out just a little bit and get little gaps on each other as the 300 slowly moving back in on your leader now. Only three tenths of a second back. Looking at lap times, that last time around looks like the six machine. No, oh, I apologize. Looks like the nine machine. The 319 of the fastest on track so far. Fastest lap of the 2934. I apologize. No, Roy Hyde, Jeff Smith with a 29209. That's your fastest lap of the evening. Our batter back there in the background sure what that was all about. It looks like most of these cars are slowly starting to get things sorted out. Got a little three-car battle here. And that is the sixth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. It's been James Torrey, Damon Cox, and Brian Scale Jr. You see these cars working their way through turns. Going to down the back stretch.
sure I like that one. So we're we're going to stick with this one for now until we can bring in a couple other shots, maybe. We'll, we'll jump around to a few here in just a second. As your top five still remains the same, Jeff Smith followed by Roy Hyde and John Staphagos in fourth place, Brian Littleton. Actually, Brian Littleton and John Staphagos battling it out right now side by side for third and fourth place. And in fifth place, John Morris back about seven tenths of a second from this little battle here looks like the man on the move right now is brian littleton as he had the fastest lap that last lap of 30 080 beating your leaders by almost two tenths of a second looks like he he may have been saving some tires running a little bit more conservative of the line as it looks like roy hines also slowly closed back down the gap on your leader gonna be a three-car battle here just shortly this does seem to be your best battle right now is that 80 trying to make up the distance close the gap back to your leaders as all three are now within the same picture of each other looks like we got a smoker up in front of the leaders entering pit road that's one of the damaged cars going back down pit road not sure they're they're going to be able to do anything with that machine they're probably going to take that to the hauler and go ahead pack up move it on back to the shop and get ready for next week you see it there roy hyde making some distance big maneuver back there by the 08 almost into the wall able to get that machine pointed in the right direction not losing a spot right now that gap did close up quite, quite quickly. It looks like the 304 able to get by the 43 now as there's a side-by-side -side battle for the lead going into turn one. 300 on the bottom line, hugging that white line. 61 coming down, crowding them just a little bit through the center and off of two down the back stretch. 80 of G Brian Littleton, sorry, I almost called him by his nickname, closing in with a massive run on the bumper of the 300 of Roy Hyde. He makes his way up in turn four, still in second place to 80 with another good run on corner exit. Both giving up a little bit of time to your leader again as that gap now back to four tenths of a second. Looks like we have some other close battles back here. Four, fifth, and six all over top of each other. Seven, Prime Skill Jr. puts his name in that. How did you see that little four car pack right back there? We're going to stay up here up front with your leaders right now, though. Brian Littleton searching for a line, searching for a lane, a way to get by the 300 of Roy Hyde. Looks like they're both gaining a little bit of a ground back on the leader again. There you see the 80 hugging that white line, able to get the pass done through one and two. two. Roy Hyde conceding the position of Brian Littleton. Brian's going to be on a mission now to go and get that number one slot away from the 61 of Jeff Smith. But they're going to begin to start working lap traffic here as we take lap 70 with 134 here for the Boyd Gaming 150. Brought to you by Go Fast Racing on iRacing.com. Broadcast to you by Next Gen Racing Productions on YouTube and Twitch. Working their way through lap traffic. Looks like Damon Cox must have had some issues. His front end is a little tore up. He's on the high line. First and second able to get by all the third. Gets by easily as well. Brian Littleton now passing for the lead. Going down into turn one and getting it done. See if the 61's able to get the momentum in the drive off of the corner exit. No. The 80 of Brian Littleton slotting in in first place. Jeff Smith with a crossover, late crossover. Into turns three and four. Down on the bottom. See if that 80 is able to get momentum and drive off again. Looks like the 80 scored as your leader right now as he begins to work lap 72, taking the lead for the first time this evening. The 80 of Brian Littleton getting it done through lap traffic. 61 of Jeff Smith not wanting to give up just yet. I don't, I don't think he, he has anything for that 80 at this point in time as the 80 is able to drive off almost a three-tenth of a second lead already over second place. Jeff Smith, your leader earlier, 
300. Roy High back there in third place. Looks like he's falling back just a little bit. Not much of many more battles going on out here on track. We're working lap 73 of 134 here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Back to this little battle here. Roy High. The 61 of Jeff Smith. Looks like the 304 of your, of your original leader. The 304 of James Torrey. Wanted to put his name back in the hat. You see right behind him. Fifth place. Brian Mescale Jr. in that six machine. Not far away from putting his name in the hat. That's first through sixth right there, all within a second and a half of each other. As I stated earlier, not, not very many other battles going on out there. As it looks like we've only got about nine cars on the lead lap. As of right now, some cars getting into some bad, bad accidents and incidents. As we, we joined and saw one of them, one of them taking a little taking place a little bit earlier than we were able to join tonight. 304, James Torrey with a good run on the 300 down the back stretch into turn three all over the bumper looking to the high side. Pulls even with the bumper of the 300 of Roy Hyde for just a second. Roy Hyde able to get the momentum on the bottom. Drive off. Slot men still in third place as he's all over the bumper of the 61 as well. At second, third, and fourth place, all within a couple of tenths of each other, about three tenths or so of each other. Brian Miskell Jr. sitting back there in fifth place, just watching all the action go down. I'll tell you what, we're actually we're gonna try to see if we can get the right camera here. That definitely isn't it. Brian's definitely driving one of the vehicles that we haven't made the camera for. So. That being said, we're going to go ahead to our gyro cam here. Brought to you by Monster Energy. Bring us all the gyro cams and all of the cars throughout the season this year. Appreciate them. Appreciate all the guys there at 946 Designs. Check them out. Hit them a like on Facebook. Any uh, paint schemes you want done? A lot of the cars out here tonight. I know... Uh, three or four of them at least are all done by those guys over at 946 designs those guys are a beast with the brush hit them up if there's something you want done we're gonna go ahead and switch back out here on the action just trying to give you a little view of of what that driver sees he's going around here at 190 plus miles an hour all over the bumper just a few feet away from the guy in front of him it looks like your leader, the 80 of Brian Littleton, able to step out to about a half a second lead now over the 61 of Jeff Smith. Looks like they're going to start running up on some more lap traffic here any second. As it looks like the... Uh, Trevor Hunter going to lap down right now 28 to 30 laps on these tires already wondering how much longer these guys can stay out there maybe another 10 laps at the most and not quite sure on the fuel mileage run here but i believe it's got to be somewhere around the 45 to 50 lap range i don't know if you're going to want to be out there much longer than that anyway on that old of tires we're going to jump up here and check on our leader Right around the track one time here with the 80 of Brian Littleton as he works his way through turns one and two. Coming off of turn two down the back stretch. Working our way into three and four. Great, great shot right there. They work their way at you through the center of three and four. Off of four, back to the stripe. Join the battle now back here for 
second and third place. He was now the 61 of Jeff Smith and the 304 of James Torrey, able to get by the 300 of Roy Hyde, slot in fourth position now. Side by side, battle to the line. 61 of Jeff Smith hugging the white line, going into turns one and two. And see the, three, the 304 is able to get the momentum that car wound up on the outside, get the runoff. Looks like he's going to be able to do it. The 300 looking to follow suit right behind him as he's now side by side for third place with the 61 of Jeff Smith. Roy Hyde giving a little bit of a ground on the entry there of three. 304 slot in second position now followed by the 61 of Jeff Smith. 300 of Roy Hyde all over the bumper of that, that 61 machine. We're working lap. 84 of 130 here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the Boyd Gaming 150. We're going to step away for just one quick second. We'll be right back with you with... of 134 here for the go fast racing boyd gaming 150 at las vegas motor speedways you see the 29 going by the 80 getting the lap back no action was missed nothing nothing really going on as your leader here the 80 of brian littleton has about a half a second or so over the second place of three of the 304 and second place james tory Sorry, got a little tongue-tied and tongue-twisted there. Third place still the 61 of Jeff Smith, followed by the 300 of Roy Hyde. And fifth place the six machine of Brian Muskell Jr. Brian Muskell Jr. in fifth place, about two seconds back of Roy Hyde. A total of almost four seconds back from your leader. So leader's able to get away from the field here on this long green flag run. Looks like the last car on the lead lap is the 08 of John Stathagos. Did you see him here just now coming off turns three and four? Let's see, we'll try to give you a perspective right at the line there. And your leader almost in the middle of the back stretch. So almost a half a lap ahead of the eighth place is the 80 of Brian Littleton. Three go four of James Torrey. He's got that thing on an absolute rail as he has made up a ton of ground on the 80 over the last two laps here. We're going to stay along with this battle as it's the closest one on track as we speak anyway. Looks like a battle for your lead is brewing any minute now. As we're coming to take lap 90 of 134 now about 40 five laps or so on some of these guys' tires. Wonder when they're going to start hitting pit road. Wonder when they're going to start thinking fuel strategy. How many stops is this thing going to take me? As I believe that most of them been out there for about 30, 38 to 45 laps or so. I believe if they pit it now, they'd have enough to still get to the, the end of this race. I wonder if anybody's going to go ahead and try to short pit, make up a little bit of time. It looks like, as I say that, the seven of Jeff's... The seven. The seven place Jeff Smith and an eight. Brian Miskell Jr. Both on pit road now, giving up time to your leaders. They will probably go a lap down here, but they, they're, they're assured to probably get that right back as, they, as these leaders will still have to pit. Close, close battle up here for your lead. The 80 of Brian Littleton and the 304 of James Torrey. Still out there, staying out. Still at least two laps longer than most of these other cars already. As your fifth and sixth place cars hit pit road now still. Still out there. 
the 80 of Brian Littleton, the 304 of James Torrey, the 300 of Roy Hyde. Looks like Roy Hyde has just now hit pit road. Not quite sure what, what, what happened to, to James. James actually on pit road, the 304 hit pit road that last lap by 80, giving up some precious, precious time here, staying out this long. Gotta wonder what he's thinking. Maybe he's thinking if I have the freshest tires throughout the last of this green flag run, maybe that'll help me as there's only two cars on the lead lap now, and that's the 80 of Brian Littleton and the 08 of John Staphagos. Gonna be interesting to see what your leader, Brian Littleton, here does as he's making his way to pit road, slowing that machine down, getting ready to come on pit road. Sounded like it looks like he's gonna stay out at least one more lap. Maybe just eyeballing that pit road entry. Don't want to mess it up. Don't want to miss it. As he has about a half a track lead over second place now. So no need to rush. No need to speed on pit road as most of the field is now one lap down. Caution is out. Oh no, that is not what a lot of these leaders wanted to see. Just jaw going through the field here looking for anything I can see and I just I cannot see any damaged vehicles I can't see what had happened but big big gamble for the 80 of Brian Littleton paying off as he was able to trap most of the field one lap down he's definitely going to come on the pit road this time around Looks like the 08 of John Staphagos going to follow suit. 304 of James Torrey, 300 of Roy Hyde, the 61 of Jeff Smith. They're all going to get uh, wave arounds here. One of them going to get the lucky dog. Looks like it's going to be the 304 that receives the lucky dog this time. As that's, It's going to be interesting now because... There's at least a five lap difference in tires now. That's got to be big here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway as I know after about five or six laps that's when the cars generally begin to fall off. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens here as Brian Littleton and John Stathagos and the 08 are going to going to have those freshest tires out there. They're going to be starting in the front of this field as well. So they're not losing any position. All the drivers that are going to end up getting wave buys are going to end up behind them. Yes, they'll be on the lead lap, but they, they got older tires that they've been ripping off of pit road trying to gain back some time on that 80. So those tires have been abused, have been worn. It looks like the... Looks like the... 346 of Justin Walters staying out. Uh, getting back on the lead lap, but he's been out there for quite some time now. He's going to have to pit probably eventually here anyway. As it looks like, there you have it. He's on pit road right now. Big shout out to to uh, to James Troy. Man, what, what a drive from ending up having a, a bad cycle where the caution came out and he couldn't get down pit road. Majority of the field was able to get on pit road. Getting uh, cheap positions, if you will, away from that 304 who was just in a zip code of him by himself when that caution came out. Able to drive his way back up through the field, almost up to that 80 of Brian Littleton who also made his way through the field on that last green flag run. So it, it's going to be a little interesting this time as as the 304 is going to have a little less fresher tires. As he, had, he was the one with the fresher tires last time around. It's going to be interesting to see if he's able to make his way up there and regain that lead that he had for so long earlier in this race. As it looks like we're now down to seven cars on the lead lap. Out of the 20 cars that we're able to start here tonight, looks like we're down to about 14 cars or so running. 13 cars still running. 
seven of those on the lead lap. Rough, rough night here tonight for some guys. Some guys just unfortunate in the wrong place at the wrong time, getting caught up in somebody else's mess. But you know, that's part of racing. Sometimes uh, things happen that are out of our control. Just like tonight, once again, Skyler, if you watch, if you're listening right now, brother, I apologize. Uh, not much I can do, but still want to just apologize, man. My fault for missing the first uh, 30 laps. Uh, we'll work something out. I'll I'll take care of uh, I'll take care of the situation. Once again, I apologize, man. But anyways, we're gonna. Get ready to go back. Green flag racing here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the Boyd Gaming 150 Go Fast Racing Open Cup Series on iRacing.com. Drew Field works its way through turns three and four. Coming to get the green flag to take lap 98 here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Pace car is going to make that hard left hand turn one more time. And the leader, the 80, as he fires off, gets a good jump on the 08. 29 car, one of those lap down cars. Not doing much of anything as the 80 gets away to a huge lead now. Almost a half a second already over the 08 of John Staffagos. Close little battles back here with Roy Hyde, Jeff Smith, Brian Biscoe, Jimmy, John Morris, James Torrey. All kind of all over each other here. Looks like the 346 of Justin Walters trying to work his way to give him another lap back. Actually, yeah, he is the first car on that lap down right now is Justin Walters. Trying to work his way back on the lead lap. Lead lap a hard way. Your leader, Brian Littleton, stepping out to almost a second lead now over the 08 as you're riding with the 304 of James Torrey. Trying to make his way by another lap machine. The 29 of Trevor Harmon. Trevor's got a little bit of front end damage to that Toyota going to be no match here for the 304 or the 300. Looks like the 61 of Jeff Smith following suit on the bottom line, making their way past the left car of the 29 with 346 right on the inside of the 29. Another pass, trying to keep in touch with the leaders in case they start putting cars a lap down here later on in this run. We will be able to pass them too and still maintain that first car a lap down the lucky dog position. This right here is your closest battles. As you see, the 304, the 361, all over each other as they make their way down the back stretch on lap 100 of 134 here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. The board gaming 150 brought to you by Go Fast Racing. I want to give a shout out if I can. Got to have a couple of the kids. Haywood Elite Wrestling up in Haywood County, North Carolina going out to another tournament, the Warrior Rumble for all of you race fans this is actually at the RCR Race Shop we're actually going to be holding the tournament right above the race shop uh, there at Richie Children's Racing it's going to be an amazing, amazing event amazing time going to try to get some pictures maybe I'll post them out there on the GoFast webpage for you guys uh or Skyler, I'll try to shoot them to you and you can post what you like. Once again, I want to give a shout out to all the kids. Kane, I know you're kind of under the weather right now. Hope you get to feeling better, bud. Caven, Mahaffey, Xander Hill, Ariana World, Isaac Young, Luke Friendly. You guys get ready for the world. We go to battle tomorrow, guys, at RCR for the Warrior Rumble as you see. The 300 getting worked over by the 61 of Jeff Smith right now as they work their way down the back stretch. That's a battle for fourth and fifth position right now as it looks like they've slowly caught up to that 08. And John Staffagos in second position right now as it stands. 
one of our, our winners this season is already out of the race. The two of Michael Trey Bacon, last week's winner. He's still out there on track. He's just limping around 10 laps down as we speak right now, though. And the only other driver to win so far this year, the 08, right there losing the position to the 304. The 61 of Jeff Smith trying to get, get by him as well, but in third place right now, John Stafford This year's Daytona 500 winner for Go Fast Racing. He's your only other winner so far this year, so as it's shaping up right now, coming to less than 30 laps to go here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, looks like we're going to have a first-time winner yet again. That's three different winners for three different races. Looking to be a good, good season with a lot of super talented drivers here. The 80 of Brian Littleton stepping that lead out to almost two and a half seconds. Now the 304, the James Troy, going to have a hard time making all that time up. Did you see the 300 of Roy Hyde working the bottom line on the 08 of John Stathagos? Three wide battle for third place. Roy Hyde tucks it back in, thinks better of it. Looked like the rear end of that car was getting out of shape just a little bit as they were working their way through turns three and four. 300 of Roy Hyde out there on the outside of the 61 of Jeff Smith right now. Still holding strong on to third place is the 08 of John Stathagos. That's been able to let that 304 of James Torrey to just walk away from them and try to work that gap on the leader down a little bit if he can as we're working about lap 16 or 17 of this green flag run here. Las Vegas Motor Speedway the driver should not have to stop for gas. However, if there's a caution, I can pretty much guarantee you that they're going to stop for tires. You need tires way before you need gas here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Not a really abrasive track, just you, you, you tend to just wear the tires out with all the, all the roll the car does from the left to the right. All the weight transition uh, that's done here tends to wear those right sides out a little bit faster than, than most of your... Uh, cookie cutter tracks if you will still you see this battle for third and fourth they still haven't settled this yet the 08 of john stafford goes to the 61 of jeff smith looks like the 300 of roy hyde is intent just to ride in fifth place right now until they get things kind of sorted out maybe he's saving a little bit for a later run looks like that lead hasn't been shrunken at all the 80 of Brian Littleton taking off on that last restart, opening up a two and a half second gap back to second place to 304 of James Tro Torrey. I don't know why I want to keep calling him James Troy. It's kind of odd, really, really odd. But anyways, still battling third place. 61 of Jeff Smith now down on the right line, getting a little loose off. Flipping the apron, side-by-side -side battle to the line. Looks like we're going to give it to Jeff Smith, who takes the position away, has the preferred line into the corner. Working the bottom, able to finally get the pass done as he slides up. Yes, slots himself into third place. Looks like the 08 looking for a little bit of a crossover, not going to take the opportunity. 61 of Jeff Smith finally able to take that third position away from the 08 of John Stafford. He's now falling back into the clutches of the 300 of Roy Hyde. Looks like Roy Hyde has a good run going into turn one here. Going to have the bottom line, the preferred lane. Looks like Roy's able to slot into that fourth position with ease as he sets his sights on the bumper of that 61 machine. Jeff Smith, we're going to go ahead here, give you a, another little perspective from the seat of that 300, the Cyberdyne, cockpit cam, riding with Roy Hyde in the 304th position, looking at the bumper in third position, Jeff Smith in 61. You see off in the distance there's a 304 James Torrey in second position 
nowhere to be seen in the picture, though, is your leader, the lady of Brian Littleton, just set sail. We're going to go ahead and jump to another one of our pretty pieces. It's our, our hood camera here, giving you a little bit better perspective right off of the hood, right up there uh, at the top of the main plates and the sponsor plates here. I've always loved that bomber scheme, man. Always loved it. As you can see, some of the different cameras that that 300 of Roy Hyde has on board for us here. Looking back at the 08 of John Stavagos, just kind of walking away as we speak right now. Going to rejoin the battle here. 261 over 300. Looks like 304 has nothing in the bank right now. For the 80 of Brian Littleton and Brian to almost open that lead up to almost three seconds now over second place. As we're working lap 117 of 134, doesn't seem to be really any battles here out on track. This is about your best battle. This for third position between the 61 of Jeff Smith and the 300 of Roy Hyde. there through the tri-oval working his way through one and two down the back stretch big run on the three on the three on third position the 61 of jeff smith looks like they're within about a car of each other about a tenth or less big run by the 300 of roy hyde going to try to take that third position away now from the 61 of jeff smith who's stuck on the outside Looks like he's pinching down the 300 just a little bit on corner entry. Able to keep the position on the 300 of Roy Hyde as Roy gets a run down the back stretch. Looking to the inside slightly again on that 61 adjustment. Able to get the run through the center on the bottom. Going to pull even with him here on the exit. Roy Hyde taking the apron in that 300 machine. Able to get the position away. Little loose as he gets back on the track. The 61 takes the position back on that high side. Looks like Roy Hyde's driving a little bit angry right now. Maybe he thought he should have had the position. Maybe he thought he got pinched down just a little bit too hard or something. Not quite sure. He's still driving the daylights out of that thing right now. Trying to run back down that 61 of Jeff Smith for second place. As it looks like. The lead slowly starting to shrink once again now. The 304 closes it in within that two and a half seconds that Brian Littleton and that 80 machine up there in first place has been able to step out and get. Looks like Brian Littleton's probably going to be able to sew up that most laps led award as you see Damon Cox not having a good evening engine giving up already. Four laps down here this evening is. 347 of Damon Cox. Hate to see his night in that way. Tried to keep it going for as long as he possibly could. Although that engine just succumbing to all the damage that it sustained earlier in tonight's race. There's a 300 of Roy Hyde still trying to make that pass for position. Take that third position away from Jeff Smith. The 08. John Stafford goes back there in the background about seven seconds or so behind your leaders, about a second behind this battle here. We're now working lap 123 of 134 here in the Boyd Gaming 150. Go Fast Racing's Open Cup Series on iRacing.com. Working into turns three and four to 61 in the 300 of Roy Hyde. That lead is beginning to shrink. Almost down to two seconds now. Wonder if there's enough time with only 11 laps left here to go at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Wonder if James Torrey is going to be able to close that distance. Not sure if he's going to be able to. 
if he's able to, that's going to be one hell of a drive. And you see one hell of a run by the 300 on the 61. All over his bumper now as they work their way through the center of three and four. 61 all over the apron on the exit right here. The 300 with another run. Roy Hyde right there hugging that white line going down into turn one. Going to be almost side by side as they enter turn one. Working their way through. The center coming on the exit here. Looks like we may have another smoker down there on the apron. Roy hiding that 300. Not able to get the job done quite yet on that 61 of Jeff Smith. Jeff just holding on. Giving it everything he's got as we're going to take nine laps to go here at Las Vegas. Speedway. Almost two second lead. Over second place has Brian Littleton over Tro uh, James Troy. As as we've been watching this battle for third and fourth place between Jeff Smith and Roy Hyde, they still haven't got that sorted out just yet. In fifth place, John Stathagos in that 08. Sixth place, Brian Miskell Jr. About three, ten, three seconds back from the fifth position right now. In seventh place, the 43 of John Horse. That's the last car out there on the lead lap. Two other cars, three, four other cars out there that are multiple laps down as we speak. So, not sure. As I said, only only two seconds now. Looks like James Tro Torrey. God, I keep wanting to say James Troy. James Torrey. Looks like he's giving up some time now. Looks like those tires are finally starting to wear off. They're about four or five laps older than their leader, Brian Littleton. As you see close, close racing between the 300 and the 61 of Jeff Smith. Patients are starting to wear thin. Some of these drivers have been driving out there for... I don't know, a good hour and a half or so. Probably a little bit longer than that. Patients are just starting to wear thin, starting to get tired, starting to get worn out. As these drivers have been out here for at least an hour and a half now in this hot Las Vegas sun. Getting it done as we're going to take five laps to go here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the Boyd Gaming 150. Go Fast Racing's Open Cup Series on iRacing.com. Brought to you by Next Gen Racing Productions. Streamed to you across YouTube and Twitch. Still, that 300 of Roy Hyde not giving up. Trying to get to that, 50, that 61 of James Smith, Jeff Smith to take that third position away looks like the lead is now down to about a lap and a half with a lap and a half <laughs> one and a half seconds as we're taking four laps to go we'll jump up front if that battle gets any closer if it gets to about a second we'll we'll join that battle up there as we're gonna watch this one right here between the 61 of jeff smith and the 300 of roy hyde this battle's been going on for at least the last 20 laps. As Roy Hyde's able to get there, just not able to quite get by. Looks like the 61 is is either just fast enough in the right places or just blocking just enough to be fast enough in the right places. I'm sure Jeff thinks he's just fast enough in the right places and Roy's probably thinking he's blocking in the wrong places. We're down to three laps to go here in the Boyd Gaming 150 at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Your leader, the 80 of Brian Littleton, still out to now a second lead over the 304. Wonder if that 80 of Brian, of Brian Littleton is just pacing himself now, just trying to bring it home. He's given up about a half a second in the last two laps. So maybe he's just starting to pace himself a little bit, keep that thing clean and out of the wall. As we're gonna jump up here and ride with your leader for what will be white flag. White flag here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. The Go Fast Racing's Open Cup Series, your leader, the 80 of Brian Littleton. Don't believe that 
304 in second place of James Torrey. He's going to be able to do anything with him. There you have it. As the 80 makes his way for the last time through three and four. Working his way up the four to the line here is that 80. And Brian Littleton, your winner at Las Vegas Motor Speedway's Boyd Gaming 150. Heck of a job, heck of a restart for him there. Uh, to be able to get that done, get that lead, and take it to the house. Awesome, awesome job there by Brian Littleton. So we're going to show you your top five. There you have it, Brian Littleton in the 80. Your winner, the 304, James Torrey in second place. And third, Jeff Smith. In fourth place, Roy High. Fifth place, John Staphagos. As it looks like the Haiti of Brian Littleton blew that machine up. Celebrating. Looks like he blew it up there. There you have it. We're going to go ahead and throw up uh, throw up all the results here and scroll through them as we try to get a hold of some of, uh, some of your leaders, some of your front runners from tonight's race. As we had one heck of a race here tonight for the Boyd Gaming 150 at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Here tonight, we just great, great race, and we're gonna see if we can, we're gonna see if we can go ahead and get a hold of that 61 machine, Jeff Smith. Jeff Smith, you out there? You still got a copy, bud? Hey, David, how you doing, man? I got you. Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Uh, first of all, I want I want to say, heck of a race, man. You had one hell of a machine out there. You were back in the pack and able to make your way all the way back up to the front after that caution kind of fell in a funky way. Some guys were able to take advantage of the pit road opening up before uh, once you were past it actually. But uh, I want to say my 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 fault. I had some technical difficulties on getting everything started up here this evening, so I joined a little bit late. I want to apologize to you about that first and foremost but how was the race out there tonight man yeah it was definitely intense uh i'd like to say that we had the car to beat um i don't know how many laps we led that first half of that race i felt pretty dominant out there and uh really when um we came into pit and i think it would have really played out to our favor i think we would have been back out there leading and then that caution came out so congrats to brian uh on the win and he played it right, man. He waited just long enough, and that caution came out for him to come into pit then. And, uh, yeah, when that caution came out, we had to go back and get our wave around because we want to lap down from that and, yeah, start the tail field of that, that small pack there. But, yeah, it was, an, it was an amazing race, man. A lot of fun, a lot of clean racing, just uh, intense. It was, it was a lot of close racing. Yeah, man, it, it looked great from what I seen. And when I came in, you were just absolutely in your own zip code. Uh, that caution came out. <clears throat> Some guys getting on pit road after you had already passed it and kind of stole positions away from you, but you were able to work your way back. And then that late, late caution got stuck a lap down, but you still worked your way up through there. Heck of a finish. Uh, I'd be happy with the third place. Um, 
So, I mean, all in all, I've got to say you had a good night. Oh, absolutely. I'm happy with third. Um, again, I think that we had a, a dominant car and could have easily pulled off the victory here. But uh, but uh, Brian pulled it off. Congrats to Brian again. And, uh, yeah, we'll just we'll take what we got and we'll move it to uh, move on over to uh, Phoenix next week. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the third. Uh, and I'll, I'll uh, hurry up and get my shout-outs out real quick. Uh, Metalhead Motorsports, our team here with uh, Dylan Vos, Mike Trevarthen, uh, Austin Marion, and Eric Mensch. Thanks to those guys. Uh, those guys are awesome to run with. We have a lot of fun. Um, yeah, all my friends and family. And also my Some Possible Racing guys out there. Uh, I own a league called Some Possible Racing League for disabled individuals or individuals with disabilities rather and uh yeah we have a blast every monday and wednesday we race so shout out to those guys i don't know if they got a chance to watch this or not but but uh yeah they're an awesome group of guys over there and uh thanks dave for the broadcast man yeah man well once again i apologize for technical issues and i'm getting behind schedule and coming in a little bit late but man jeff heck of a race tonight and uh we'll catch you at phoenix Thanks, buddy. Have a good one. Going to work now to see if we can get a hold of our leader. Going to see if we can get a hold of our race winner. The 80 of Brian Littleton. Brian, you got us? Yes, sir. Hey, man. How was the race? It, you know what? It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I got hats off to next gen racing, man. I'm telling you what, Roy come on something with the setup in practice and it just, it clicked. Um, made a few minor tweaks during the race. Uh, track started, uh, started, uh, cooling down a little bit. So, uh, it, uh, started coming together. It was pretty nice. I liked it. It was a good race. Good run. Good run by everybody. Heck yeah, man. You were able to, uh, get that lead keep the lead for the last uh I believe it was about 64 laps there not sure if they give uh most laps led but you would have sewed that up as well so uh i missed a little bit of the beginning of the night had some technical difficulties but hey eh, able to get everything fired up looks like uh you kind of had some i don't know i wouldn't say issues or difficulties but uh once you got got where you wanted to <laughs> yeah. go you were kind of in there so I mean, anything you, you want to say before we move on to next week at Phoenix? Uh, no, man. Just uh, thanks again to Next Gen. Uh, these guys, uh, we all work together with these setups, and uh, we're kind of new with these setups. And uh, a little difficult for some than others, but uh, we seem to be doing fairly decent. Uh, definitely going to thank you up in the booth. Um, glad you're on board. It's good to listen to your broadcasts uh, when I go to work on uh, Saturday mornings. And uh, the Skyler and the admins of uh, GoFast, man, they put put a good show on. Uh, we wouldn't be doing any of this without them, guys. All right, man. Well, uh, I appreciate you waiting around for us. Well, we'll catch you at Phoenix, bud. Yeah, man. And there you have it. That was your race winner, the 80, Brian Littleton. Winner here of the Boyd Gaming 150 Go Fast Racing's Open Cup Series on iRacing.com. Want to thank everybody for joining in, watching, giving thumbs up. Uh, once again, going to apologize to all the guys here at Go Fast Racing as I was behind schedule this evening. Uh, sorry about it. I'll, I'll try to not let that happen again, but uh, technology does its own little thing sometimes. But want to give a big shout out to these guys for they run one hell of a league racing on multiple evenings of the night multiple different series uh skyler and all the guys here at go fast they do one hell of a job want to shout out once again to haywood elite wrestling club out there in haywood north carolina some of the young kids going to go out there and do battle this evening at the warrior rumble at rcr yes that's right race fans you heard me right at richard childress racing we have a youth wrestling tournament right above the race shop. That's going to be one hell of a deal to be a part of. Because we're going to 
Go ahead and call it an evening, and as we do, we're going to leave you with this short little video.